stopped it, but there it's going. You can trim it, so. Cool. Hi, everybody. John with Thomas Muse Guitars. Uh, we're putting a bevel on a headstock. So I made this little spacer so that I can hold it flat to my router table because otherwise the fretboard would be in the way. And I'm only putting a bevel on this edge, this edge, and this edge. So three edges. I don't want a bevel here and here. All right. So I got a 45 degree uh, router bit with a bearing on top. And what I need to do is adjust the height on this thing. Got to bring it up some. And I'm looking to just take 45 degrees off of So how do you know what height to adjust it to? You just gotta eyeball it. Yeah, your cutter should your cutter should just be the top of the cutter should be just where the the uh, fretboard overlay meets the or I'm sorry the headstock overlay meets the headstock. That's where the blade should be. Hi everybody, John with Thomas Music Guitars. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, <clears throat> I'm putting a bevel on my headstock and this is how I do it. I got a 45 degree bit in here with a bearing on it and I set the height so that the, the cutter just comes to the edge of the headstock overlay and the actual headstock material. So right in this area. <clears throat> and I think I've got it set pretty darn close to the right height. Yep. I think I'm pretty close. So what I'm going to do is do a quick test. Put my my hearing protection in and I got to find my uh, face shield. Oh, here it is. Couldn't have gone far. All right. Deeper. So right there is where I cut and I want to bring it a little bit deeper so that white black white really jumps out. So to do that I need to bring the bit up just the scoop. That's it. <clears throat> so you can see there, there's the second cut I made. And uh, the cut is coming almost perfectly in line with the edge of the maple. So we're going to go with that all the way around.
there you have it and I'll take the spacer off There it is. And I got three more that I'm going to do uh, using wood as the uh, headstock overlay. This one just has standard pick guard material. Then I'm going to make a pick guard for the body that matches. All right. <clears throat> so if you enjoyed this, uh, subscribe and I'll make a bunch more videos. Uh, like this and uh, I have uh, these shirts you can get these shirts and uh, I, I think it's called Printify I'll put a link in the description and you can get them and remember every machine is a smoke machine if you don't use it properly and you want to be directly there is that peace out